this is uh, doing that alert, which is not necessary anymore. You can comment it out. It doesn't need to alert that anymore. That alert uh, was just to confirm it's uh, doing something. What we really wanted it to do was to put that text into that input field. Once it's in the input field, then we can use it when we actually save um, the, the comic. So we need to back up to the area where we're saving the comic. We're saving the comic. Let's see. And comment. Okay, so at about line 183. If we back up, this is in the, in the function of save comic. And originally, we were saving the title, the number, the year, the publisher, and the comment of the comic. I now want to add barcode to this. So at the very end of that line, uh, delete the semicolon, make that a comma, because we're going to add a new item. That's going to be val in barcode equal to jQuery selector pound in barcode dot val semicolon. So the barcode function's purpose is to launch the camera, scan the code, and put it into that input field. That input field was empty. It had the placeholder of barcode. Now this will work as before to capture that stuff and put it into the database. So this is creating the variable that stores the number, whatever the number is in there. Okay, well, the next step after that is that needs to be added to the JSON data. The JSON data, uh, this is temporary, these variables are temporary. The JSON data, a little further here, comic, it's got the ID, it's got the title, etc., etc., etc. At the end of that line is the unique ID. The unique ID is the very last item. We need a new item, so we need a comma. Val in your comma, because we need a new pair after unique ID. Quotes barcode, colon, val in barcode. No comma, no semicolon. That's the end of our JSON data. But we don't need to put in the variable? It is, it is the variable. Val in barcode. Like the bar for line 180. Why do we need to put in the variable? Like Val in barcode equals the output. Yeah. Yes. So, but you're right there. So we need to grab the value of what that input field is to put it into the barcode. If a person never scans the barcode, that field will be empty. That's fine. We're going to save to the comic, the barcode field, empty. That's fine. But if they choose to scan the barcode, that barcode will be added to the value of in barcode, and then later on over here, now we're going to add it to our bundle of JSON data. Okay, so we are saving the data now to the database. Ultimately, then we've got db.put, but although the data, the data has been bundled together, it has the barcode now. So we were displaying when we actually save the comic and then we display it to the user that was uh, in, that, um, in, the, in the HTML file. 
uh, this JavaScript now. Let's save it and let's jump over to the HTML file. Index.html. And we had a paragraph where we had comment, line 193. We had uh, the name, the number, the year, the publisher, the comment of the comic. This is in the this is in the pop-up of uh, comics info. So now that we've saved the barcode, we also want to display that in the pop-up. So that needs a paragraph barcode. So there's a placeholder where we can display the barcode in HTML. We have to jump back and forth between the HTML and the CSS several times, but conceptually, right, we write the HTML where it's going to display, we write the JavaScript to actually display it. We needed to write the JavaScript to capture the code first, then we needed the JavaScript to save the data. Now we'll write the JavaScript to display this. So back to the JavaScript. We were displaying that we were displaying that in line three hundred fifty nine. So we've got a whole block here in 359 that info box is populated here we have show comics info the zero width paragraph the fourth paragraph display the comment etc so we can copy and paste that line and change it up a little bit because now we're going to the fifth paragraph sixth actually because we start with zero the text that was there is barcode and now we got success dot barcode the object in the database has now a new field barcode <coughs> if they choose to scan a barcode so we're just pulling it out of the data success dot barcode we have the sixth, you know, number five paragraph, and write the HTML there, barcode, plus then the object success.barcode. save all because I've been jumping back and forth between the HTML and the CSS files. So I'll save all. I should be able to test it now. So we have that function that activates the ability to scan the barcode and then to the existing save comic we added okay capture what's in that field bundle it into the JSON object db.put and then ultimately here db.get and display it. So I need to uh, save a comic, put uh, a real title number and year, and then scan a barcode, and then save. I'm going to go to save comic, I'm going to save spider number one from 1999, I'm going to hit scan barcode, scan this barcode right here, scan the barcode, it filled in the barcode field, and I'll, and I'll click save. So you get the pop-up comic saved. If I then go back to view comics, I've got one comic saved, Spider-1. I click the info icon, it pops up. 
So I have the name, the number, the year, the publisher, comma, and barcode. Let me get some verification here. Carrie, do you see a barcode? Number, yes. Yep, barcode number. So now we've got the barcode saved as part of the data, and I'm pulling it back out of the info box. So the barcode is data that is saved with the comic. So also, just to see it here in my uh, output panel, I forgot to show it, but here when I, um, when I save the comic, SPI1, that was an object, and it had a new field for that data. Okay, so this is what I'm saying here. I just uh, saved another comic. It added it to the array. Uh, that, that is the, the data. And then uh, the new object there. Right there. And it has the doc. It has all of this. And there's a barcode. So it's got the usual stuff that gets saved from before. and everything, and then the bar goes in.
All right, so the idea of this plugin is that it gives you extra features. This plugin gave you the ability to do something new in the app. We're going to use another plugin now to do another thing similar. We're then going to scan or we're going to take a photo, a picture of the actual comic. So if we've got the comic, take a photo of the whole comic. So we'll do that next.